What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to the 562.org. It's Tyler. And Mike, and this club football video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company. Visit ribcompany.com or call to get your order in today. Inclement weather out in Chino for Team Grind's next contest taking on Project. Fortunately, the rain held off. And we got another heaping sample of Devin samples in this one. We've seen a lot of the sophomore running back in these last few weeks, Mike. A generous sampling indeed, Tyler. But uh, Project Your Neck also has a Long Beach kid at running back, Junior Sone Alpiu, who we've covered quite a bit of. He's a good, hard runner. Not intimidated by this normally intimidating grind defense. Which is key, because we have seen people get quite intimidated. <laughs> the project did struggle with that quarterback center exchange. Ike Mikaele able to tee off there on the outside. That gave the ball to the grind offense, which was much more balanced this week, although they did start with samples where their bread is buttered. Then Shea Kuykendall is going to get the quick hitters going. First to Keontae Lanier, who's going to slide in safely on the far sideline. And then he's out to Kyron Rachel, who's on his uh, Najee Harris flow with an ambitious try at the hurdle. Yeah, he, he was feeling himself on that one. Didn't quite work out, <laughs> but he's still wide open. Corners are playing off. Kuykendall looking like slants Armstrong as he guns it into Rachel for the score. That's a touchdown in back-to-back -back weeks for number one, the unsigned senior. And one of the guys is trying to secure his future out here, and, and we think he's a Division One talent, Mike. Yeah, absolutely. Should be getting a lot more looks. Now we go back to the defensive highlights. Uh, if you're feeling a little sluggish, get a, a shot of that monster energy jink as <laughs> Jalen Johnson's in the backfield again. And then Alpiu Mo, that solid tackle for loss. That's not the guy you want to run into. And then on the next drive, Kuykendall looking deep. Foot on the gas, trunk full of cash. <laughs> That's Jordan Riles, JR7, with one of the easier touchdowns you'll see. Scores in back-to-back -back games is that Kuykendall-Riles connection was absolutely there in this game as we get the 60-yard touchdown. Project, though, trying to respond before halftime. Perfect throw from James Russell to Aiden Friesen. That was airtight coverage, but a perfect throw dropped in to number one. But what happens when you don't respect the specs, Mike? Lamar Black cracks you from the blind side, recovers the fumble. Black's just a playmaker, and he's got clear 2020 vision with the specs, baby. 14-0 <laughs> lead for Team Grind at halftime. Second half. Grind going to another perimeter player here. Kyle Jackson, wide receiver, who's got back-to-back -back catches and proved to be kind of hard to take down. You see the nice sidearm throw from Kuykendall and Jackson with some yak. Yak, yak. Yeah, just another weapon on the perimeter for the grind. But the drive did stall, and since there is no such thing as field goal range, Kuykendall just going to throw it into the end zone and jump ball on fourth down. Kind of just served as a punt, basically, and got the defense back onto the field and they were primed for a takeaway. We mentioned the quarterback center exchanges. Mo fumbles, Mo problems. Ao Piu Mo with the recovery, another takeaway for the grind, and they are just out there having fun. Yeah, this defense has uh, been close to perfect through four games uh, and averaging two takeaways a game. In the closing minutes though, Project puts a drive together. Ao Piu, deuce deuce with the nice run, obviously. We've seen him do that quite a bit in Long Beach. Russell then going to connect with Friesen for the 26-yard touchdown. That's the first score allowed by the grind since the first drive of the first game. But too little too late in this one as grind is going to go on and win it 14-7 to to improve to 4-0, and setting up a big-time showdown with the WCA Select team this Saturday. Yeah, that will be a big matchup of undefeated, talented teams as we continue our coverage of club football out in Chino. You want coverage of that game and everything else, Long Beach sports, got to keep it locked right here at the 562.org.